Gentlemen, I was hoping to get on a bit of a roll, but um, oh, latecomers. Hi. 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 Where the fuck have you been? <laughs> a restaurant. We thought you'd be finished by now. Um. <laughs> French film and I don't know if you've seen that. I think it was released here as uh, ET. <laughs> <laughs> Annoying, isn't it, though, when someone says to you, "Oh, you must go and see this film." Yeah, you'd really like it. Yeah, you would really like it. And you go and see it's about a psychopath who collects cheese. <laughs> Matter watching. Buffalo <laughs> <laughs> mozzarella! Great! Yep, there are other types of cheese. <laughs> Any others while we're here, just to get this out of the way. No, no, that wild! Yeah, that's the thing, yeah. I'm just wondering how you're going to make it succinctly into a punchline. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> uh, are you a cheese. Yeah. Connoisseur. Connoisseur. Appreciation growth! <laughs> yeah. Mm. Perhaps if you see me afterwards, I'm not running fast enough. <laughs> I remember uncovering the mass grave of a thousand snowmen. <laughs> Fortunately, it turned out to be a field full of carrots. <laughs> I used to work in Ikea, selling over 7,000 different items. Give me a number between 1 and 7,000, I'll tell you about it. 3,500! Sorry, out of stock. <laughs> Lucky you chose that one. <laughs> Worst job. Oh, oh um, one of the cheese blokes apparently just told me while I was standing in that little doorway that apparently um, one of their <coughs> group, it's her, his birthday, he's 18 <laughs> today. <laughs> I can so handle this. <laughs> We've all got a birthday, why do you boo? <laughs> My birthday, do you boo? I'm the victim of a very cruel hypnotist. <laughs> boo! You start to boo, Jay! It's all boo! <laughs> I think that the last time. Come on, The last time I got an audience to chant something, of chant something, right? I was up in um, Scotland doing the Edinburgh Festival, and there's a venue up there called the Gilded Balloon. And I got the audience because I was really, really pissed. I got more to go, baboon! Baboon! And it was so, it just, it didn't mean anything, it was just a fucking stupid laugh. And the next day, I'm walking down the high street, and a good bloke was clearly in the audience on the night before. I just went, baboon! <laughs> Everybody else on the street went, <laughs> give you a license to now a baboon when you see me walking down the street because I don't live around here. For the cheese um, Yeah, religious leaders of all different backgrounds talking on radio and television going, I don't get it, man. The media is always on our case. We're merely about peace and love. For the most part, those books are about peace and love, until you get to the part in all of them where they teach you how to kill gay people. <laughs> well, that's not very peaceful or loving, is it? They get weird about it, too. They're like, take them to the city walls and kill them with a rock. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Are you certain that God said that? <laughs> and if he did, what context was it in? Like, was he drunk at a party or something? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what to do to finance! <laughs> God, go home. <laughs> We go home and give him the keys back then, you homo! <laughs> Gay people should be quite flattered about the religious beliefs of them, because the religious all believe that God controls everything, he makes everything, he can fight anything. Set this urge to make gay people. <laughs> He's sitting up in heaven going, why am I doing this? <laughs> I can't stop myself. I just made some more. I am such a little bitch. <laughs> I'm Mike Tyson. <laughs> he's been having a tough go of it recently. Well, he's always had a bit of a tough time. You know, he grew up in Brownsville. I'm not being racist. That is actually where he's from. <laughs> That's how you say it. Brownsville or Brownsville. That's not racist. Brownsville. Racist. <laughs> he's not a great decision maker, old Iron Mike. <laughs> It became very apparent when he got a tattoo on his face. <laughs> no one's life's ever gotten better after a facial tattoo. <laughs> well, I was behind in the polls till I got this little puppy. <laughs> I thought the voters would go for a guy with the Swedish chef tattooed to his forehead, and they did! <laughs> if you're a boxer... Why would you get a facial tattoo? Your job's already hard enough. Don't give the other guy something to aim at. <laughs> it just gets worse and worse for Mike, man. This is just like a couple, about a month ago, he was, uh, he was standing in line for a nightclub in Scottsdale, Arizona, and was found to have cocaine on his person <laughs> after being frisked by the bravest cop in the world! <laughs> Tyson. Like, how much are they paying cops in Arizona? And one of them's like, well, I was off duty having dinner with my wife, and I looked across the street and saw Mike Tyson high on cocaine. Well, my first instinct was, frisk him! I think we all know the ramifications of a man going into a nightclub on cocaine. Whoa, he might talk, dance, go home. Whoa! <laughs>